All right, good Monday morning, everyone. It is time to talk about the markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. All right, Jim, Caterpillar upgraded by J.P. Morgan. This tax reform bullishness continues. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's a very important note because they emphasize the, uh, and I've been waiting for someone to do this, the depreciation change. You can write off equipment that you buy after one year. That can be new and it also can be used, apparently. Uh, the problem here, obviously, is the stock run a great deal. So, And I've been behind Caterpillar all the way. We have more than a $200 price target. This is an example of one where I would say, please, wait. Don't just come in and buy it. There is a shortage of machinery stocks. I've been writing about that in Real Money. But I don't want people to come in upon weaker hands, and that's important trading guidance. Yeah, Caterpillar up 75% over the past yeah, year. I mean, let's, I just want to warn people that, look, that you may have missed Caterpillar, maybe the trains left the station, but if you're gonna buy it right here, you better be patient and willing to take some pain in the interim if we get something about 232. I'm trying to keep 232 in front of everyone. That's a trade provision that allows the president, after the Commerce Department uh, rules uh, on it, to uh, block Chinese steel. So Caterpillar is a huge amount of sales in China. So if that happens and it's expected this month, that may be a better opportunity. Or you can just say you missed it. I, I think that we don't talk about the notion of missing it enough. I think I may have to address that on the Action Alerts conference call that I'm inviting people who are not members of the club to join in the next two days. I don't think, I think you really like it. It's a pretty big call that we do. And we answer a lot of, of uh, club members' questions. That takes place on Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. It's on really important. We, I spent a lot of the weekend on it. So did my team. Uh, and I really just think those who are watching, and I know a lot of people watch, trial the product. And I'm not just talking my book. It's just that this is what people want to know. And it's very personal and uses a lot of what I've learned in, uh, since I started trading in 1979. A deeper dive than these videos, which exactly we appreciate. Right. Meanwhile, Jim, United Technologies upgraded by Goldman this year. Turbo fan. the same thing. The same thing. You're coming in on top of a lot of upgrades. That said, the gear turbo, turbo fan, the GTF, has been a major engineering problem for United Technologies. It is a fabulous engine. It's got much, much less noise. Uh, it's much better for fuel use. But if they indeed have solved the problems, which by the way, my sources indicate they have too, then what happens is you buy one of their fans, they get, which they don't make much money on, but then they make all this money on the service revenue. And uh, this is a very uh, very competitive, I think better engine than what GE has. I'd love GE to come out, maybe Flannery will talk about it. But it, the fact is this stock has moved. I recommend it at 109 here, at 109 on real money. So I think you have to recognize you're not early if you come in right here. Is there a read-through to Honeywell from this? I think the read-through for Honeywell is the same as we get for Boeing, uh, the same as we same as we get for anything involved in aerospace, which is that the demand is intense for anything related to aerospace. But remember, we're in Honeywell fraction alerts because of the split where they're bringing out value. That's Darius at Jamtech doing it. Now, Jamtech is certainly pro-aerospace, but understand that United Technologies call should have emphasized, I think, more about how strong HVAC is and how strong Otis is. Otis, big, uh, a big company for service in China. Yeah, I think like every segment is doing well at UTX. Every single one. Wow. Jim, let's also talk about retail. Lululemon raising its fourth quarter guidance. Yeah. Again, retail is one of those areas where uh, you got to be careful because uh, these companies are coming out and saying good things. I happen to be a huge backer of Lulu, but I have for 20 points. So if you come in now, all you're doing is finally listening to me on Lulu. Uh, same thing with Kohl's. I've been behind Kohl's for 20 points. You come in and, you're list and you would listen to me, and I'm not saying listen, I'm a genius, because I am just uh, commenting on what a lot of people were saying, and these analysts are late to the game. Again, that means waiting or saying I missed and I'm taking a pass. Children's place, very simple. So the market seems to think that there will be some sort of pullback, maybe no, wait, waiting no, for something No, the market like that. does not say that. I am saying that. The market's saying the opposite. 
The market's saying buy them now. I am saying wait for a wait pullback. For a pullback. Meanwhile, Jim, who do you have on Mad Money tonight? Okay, I have Exact Sciences. This is a good example of a company that pre-announced better numbers. People don't like it. I have Alchemies, which is doing fantastic work on recidivism with uh, for alcoholics and for drug addicts, and also uh, central nervous system. The central nervous system trials did not succeed previously. Maybe there's new information about them succeeding. This is Richard Pops, the CEO. By the way, remember, they're located overseas. They don't get a big tax benefit. All right, Jim Kramer, we're going to continue the conversation Thank behind you. actionalertsplus.com. Please join us there.